It's time for our favorite time of day, center time. Let's go check out our centers. Start over here in our art studio. We have our paper and lots of paints. Now in the art studio, you could paint pictures of lots of animals. That's right, you could paint the actual pictures of the animals or different stages of their life cycle. You could even paint their habitat. Lots of things you could paint about animals and habitats. You could also use any of the beautiful stuff. You could create your own habitats for these animals using beautiful stuff. That's right. You could use paper towel rolls. You could use boxes. You could use tissue paper. You could make your very own woodlands and put different animals in there. I know you guys can be creative. I can't wait to see what you design. Over here in the writing center, we could do lots of writing and drawing. I have tons of materials I could use, like crayons, colored pencils, markers. We're going to be learning how to draw lots of different animals. I actually have a book, How to Draw Animals. It gives us the procedure of how to draw different kinds of animals. There's tons of materials you can use to learn how to do all of these procedures and draw your very own animal. You could also write books about these animals. I can't wait to read them. Behind me is the drama center. Our drama center turned into the woodlands. There's tons of animals in the woodlands. You could pretend lots of things. Maybe you're camping. Maybe you're fishing. Maybe you're hanging out with the animals. Lots of cool things we can work on in the woodlands. For here in our library, we have lots of books that we could read. Now, this unit, we're going to read tons of books about animals. That's right, we have books all about different kinds of animals, like frogs. Froggy bakes a cake. We have books like animals that live in the forest raccoon on his own. We even have books about animals and their habitats. So if you have books at home all about animals, I would love for you to read them. You could find out tons of information about animals, like where do they live? What is their habitat? What kind of foods do they eat? I'd love for you to share the information that you learn. Now, if you don't have books about animals at home, that's okay, because we have tons of books that are going to be on our Clever page. I can't wait to hear all about the animals that you're reading about. I wonder what your favorite animal is. Over here, we have our block center. Now, in our block center, we can do lots of building, things like habitats. I have an underwater habitat right here. I started building with my blocks. I have a couple different animals for underwater that I'm going to use in my block center. You could also do things like building animals. I have a frog I'm working on right now. I'm going to use those blocks and build the biggest frog I've ever seen. You can do that too. We also have our science and technology center where you'll continue to do lots of really interesting experiments. Finally, we have our Mindfulness Center. Now, in our Mindfulness Center, this is where we will learn all the different tools and strategies to help us calm our bodies, to make us feel relaxed. We could do some yoga. You guys have learned a lot of cool moves, and we have tons more that we're going to learn. So always have the option to go into your Mindfulness Center. I can't wait to find out what center you're going to today.